What's good you guys? Today's video is slightly different because I'm just gonna talk straight to you all. I'm gonna tell you all scientific facts and I'm gonna tell you all things that people are afraid of talking about online. I do believe that as a blogger, I will be putting my own business at risk because of this particular video. I'll be kind of shooing away some of these hair product industry people because a lot of the things that I'm going to say, those people don't want you to know those things that they may not work with me in the future. But what's more important to me is that I provide real value to you all. You guys have made me who I am today and I'm only going to put out the truth on my channel. And that's why we're talking about the five shocking facts of hair products, all the side effects and all the effects that they have on your hair and your scalp. Let's go. Shocking truth number one about the hair product industry is that they want you to believe that you can use hair product every single day and that it's safe to use. Look, my bros, you gotta understand that your hair is dead. It doesn't have life but it's still connected to your scalp. It's connected to your body and it still grows. It's got its own natural moisture and natural oils. Every time you apply hair product and then you wash it off, you're getting rid of all that goodness. So in the long term, it can ruin the quality of your hair. And keep in mind that I personally also use hair product, but only when I go for very important parties, like very important corporate events, or if it's a New Year's party, or if it's a birthday party, something very important, once or twice a month, you can use it. No problem, but don't use it every single day. Point number two, hair product directly affects the quality of your hair primarily because of alcohol. When you see the ingredients of any hair product, almost always you'll find alcohol. Now, alcohol is added to creams to make them softer so that they spread more evenly. But the effect of alcohol on your hair is that it dries out your hair, it rips it off all its moisture. So every time you've used a bit of hair product on your hair, you'll see that for the following one or two days, your hair is very rough, it's a little bit dry, and very importantly, it becomes a little bit brittle. Brittle means glass-like. So normally where your hair is slightly bendable, where it's healthy and full of life, when your hair is brittle because of all that hair product usage, it makes it more breakable, it makes it more glass-like. That's how in the long term, hair product usage can also cause a little bit of hair fall. And what you've also got to keep in mind is that most guys who start using a little bit of hair product, what ends up happening is that one or two days after they've used hair product, the hair ends up looking pretty rubbish because it becomes dry looking, it looks unhealthy and then they go in for more hair product to get that same nice clean look with their product. That's why using product for a function once in a while is okay, but you need to give your hair some time to recover from it. Don't get into a habit of using product regularly because then it becomes a case of Aray, baal dry ho gaye. Or product, or product chahiye meko. Or product chahiye bro, I have to go or product. So it basically becomes a cycle of using hair product. It becomes dry and then you go in for more just to make it look better. But in the long term, you're making it drier. You're killing off the life of your hair. Which brings us to point number three. You have to understand how a strand of hair is built. It's just like a tree. So the main body of the hair is like the tree. But the root of the tree is what we call the hair follicle, which is present in your scalp. That's the skin on your head. That's like the soil for the tree. Now you've got to keep in mind that all the hair growth happens through the follicle. So you've really got to care about follicle health as well as scalp health. And the way product usage goes wrong is that people end up using product and then a bit of it always trickles down to your scalp. That means it falls on your scalp and ends up blocking the pores of your skin. Now, hair product companies will tell you, Hey bro, scalp par kyu laga? Mera bola na baal par laga na baal, baal. Yes, that's true. When you're applying product, you're only supposed to apply it to the body of your hair. But everyone sweats. We live in India. It's a hot climate. That sweat is going to take some of that hair product and make it trickle down to your scalp and that affects your scalp's health in the long term. You know how we say that put oil on your scalp for nourishment? It's like you're putting fertilizer in the soil so that your crop grows better. Similarly, if you're putting hair product on your hair, it's just like putting a little bit of pesticide on your soil. It does have its own benefits, like it'll make you look better, but in the long term, it's spoiling the quality of your soil, it's spoiling the quality of your scalp. Point number four, the cheaper your product is, the worse it is for your hair. This is something you need to know. When we're talking about fashion or clothing, I always say that shop smart, save money. But with grooming products, you shouldn't really look to save money because it's something you're applying on your hair and your skin. Take this piece of advice from your bade bhaiya. Never ever spend less than 500 rupees on a hair product. If you don't end up using it every day, then it'll even last you for very long. 
But if any hair product comes for under 500 rupees, it's probably a cheap product and it will damage your hair in the long term. And tip number five, something that hair product and grooming companies don't really want you to know is that you can look absolutely fantastic without any product. If you're someone who's got slightly curly or wavy hair like mine, keep it short. If it's short, it'll always look neat. If you're someone who's got straight, soft hair, then you don't need product in the first place. It already looks fantastic. It already looks neat and tidy. Focus on looking neat and tidy. Keep your hair short. Don't over rely on putting a chemical in your hair to make it look good. Yes, hair product can elevate your look slightly, but you know what can elevate your look even more? Natural sciences. Learn what's good for your hair, what ruins your hair in the long term. Always focus on the long term gain. That's why I highly recommend you go and check out our video on how to take care of your hair. 10 tips that will absolutely ruin your hair and 10 solutions to those problems. If you liked today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I hope today's video helped you because I put my business on the line for this video. Remember guys, spread the message, share this video, subscribe to Beer Biceps from Ranveer and the team. We'll see you